Hey, you're listening to Marketing Out Loud, a daily podcast where I share advice, stories, and insights to help you build a thriving consulting or professional services practice. To subscribe to the show, head over to marketingoutloud.fm. I had a great conversation today with Anthony English. Anthony is a business coach for IT specialists. And uh, Anthony and I, we, we have a chat every now and then just to, you know, get together, touch base and talk shop. And uh, one thing he said to me was he'd been watching some of my recent LinkedIn videos and I've kind of upped my LinkedIn video game recently. And he said, you're so confident on video and on your podcasts. Do you have a background in radio or television? <laughs> I, had, I had a good laugh. I had a good laugh at that one. And then I realized he was serious. Um, and I was like, no, uh, no, I don't have a, don't have a background in radio or television. And he was like, well, how are you so confident then? And I thought about that. And first of all, I didn't, I didn't know I come across as so confident. That was good to know. I suppose it's a good thing. Um, but I thought about it and, you know, as far as the podcast goes, I have to say it's just practice. Uh, when I started forecast, you know, we're pushing now, I don't know, a year and a half, two years ago, maybe. In forecast, which is now my interview show, but it started off as a monologue and I started off publishing three times a week. And the idea there was I had heard some podcasters say that your first hundred episodes are going to suck. So I said, well, look, if I publish weekly, I'm going to suck for like two years and I don't want to suck for two years. If I publish, you know, bi-weekly, I'll suck for a year. That's still a long time to suck for. So I said, well, look, I'm going to publish, you know, like three times a week. And that way I'll suck for like, you know, maybe like six to eight months. And that's okay. I can deal with that. And then I'll get better. So I published three times a week and they were all monologues. And each of them was about 10 to 15 minutes per episode, which now considering marketing out loud, doesn't sound so crazy. But at the time that was crazy for me. Three times a week, 10 to 15 minutes per episode. And those episodes, I should say, were not like marketing out loud. It wasn't as raw and off the cuff as these are. These were actually each, each episode was a lesson that fit into a three part tutorial. So every week I essentially taught a tutorial that consisted of three lessons and I covered a different topic every single week. So there was a lot of preparation that went into these episodes. And the way that I delivered these episodes was I would script out the entire episode in advance. And I go into my little recording closet in my office and I would hit record and I would read through the script, at least in the beginning, I'd read through the script and I never really liked how it came out. So I would do multiple takes. So I'd, I'd read like a couple of paragraphs and then if I liked it and then I'd continue, if I didn't like the way it sounded or I didn't think I articulated the point well enough, I'd redo that. And so like a 10 minute episode, I may have spent 30 minutes recording that with all the outtakes and the mistakes. And then I'd send that off to my audio producer and he had the uh, unenviable job of going through the recording, editing it out, the mistakes, and coming up with the final episode. And it sounded pretty good. In the beginning, I think it was a little bit robotic because it was kind of obvious that I was reading from a script. Eventually I got better at sounding a little bit more natural. And then eventually I stopped scripting and I started just doing a high level bullet point outline of the episode. And then eventually I got better at just being able to go with the outline and have minimal outtakes. So 10 minutes of content, instead of taking 30 minutes to record, took 10, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, and then all of a sudden pretty close to 10 minutes. So I got better over time. And now with marketing out loud, same thing. I mean, I think if you look back at the earlier episodes, I would like to think it's improved. I don't listen to the early episodes, to be honest, so I can't really say, but I can say it's gotten a lot easier for me now to record these. With this episode, with this show as well, rather, in the beginning, I would loosely script them out and I would kind of bullet point them out. Now we're, uh, I don't know, I mean, we're in the 90s, I think, as far as episodes goes. Now I take an, a topic, I take an idea, and I think about the idea for a minute, and I hit record and I go. And it's just a lot easier for me right now. And you know, the, whether the quality has improved or not, I'm not entirely sure, but I can tell you the process has gotten a lot easier for me and it's just practice. So look, that's the secret. How am I so confident on 
audio and video. I mean, if you think I'm confident, I don't know if you agree with that. That's Anthony's opinion to each his own. But if you do think I'm confident, well, there's no secret here. I'm not naturally talented on radio or television. I have no background in either channel or either medium. It's just practice. I just do a lot of this stuff. I talk a lot. I record a lot. I publish a lot. And you know what? You can't help but get better. 100 episodes in, 200 episodes in, I mean, combined between forecast and marketing out loud, I've done, you know, close to 200 episodes. You can't help but get better if you produce that much content. So that's the good news, really, is that if you're worried that you don't come across well on video or audio, the good news is with practice, you will get better and better and you will develop more confidence. And I'm living proof that that's the case. So don't worry about it. Get started. It will get better. I promise. Hey, thanks for listening. Do me a favor. If you like what you hear, go on iTunes and leave us a rating and a review because it helps more people discover the show. Thanks so much.